the favorites. Cody, talk to me about the defending SEC champs, the defending national champions, Georgia Bulldogs. What sticks out to you with this Georgia Bulldogs team this upcoming season? Two things for the Georgia Bulldogs, man. Right now, obviously, we, as we know, we talked about the big three, Alabama, Georgia, and Ohio State, having to break in new quarterbacks. And I think for Georgia, they're kind of set up to be, like, to basically have, like, the easiest road in terms of being able to replace their quarterback. They have the easiest schedule in the SEC. Um, all their tough games are going to be at home, except for, I think, on the road at Tennessee, which – by then, their new quarterback should have some games under his belt, should be undefeated. They should have a ton of confidence. Um, they have the second-best roster, uh, maybe arguably second, th- second, first, second, third-best roster in the SEC if you look at LSU and Alabama. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Like I said, I think Georgia is set up to go 12-0 and in the regular season. Now, precursor, we'll talk about the SEC championship later, but they'll be 12-0 and heading into the SEC championship. I believe soft mm. schedule. They return a lot of good players when in doubt feed Brock Bowers. He's the best player in the country should win the Heisman this year. He won't, but um, I think that Georgia is set up. They have the roster. They have the coaches to be able to ease that new quarterback in and have a little bit of confidence going into that game against Tennessee. Brock Bowers is special, man. I mean, yeah. he's so electric. We've seen him do this since he was a freshman and I agree with you. I mean, Besides Marvin Harrison Jr., when it comes to, like, non-quarterback guys that have impacted their team, Brock Bowers has got to be a close second. Uh, oh, I'm shout also, out to KT Prep. Brock Bowers is a KT Prep alumni. He is, guy. KT Prep. Oh, my goodness. California guy. But, no, you love seeing the West Coast guys go all the way over to the South and go to those SEC schools and be dominant there. Um, Lad McConkey, wide receiver, I'm a big fan of. Kind of reminds me of that Wes Welker type, uh, the Eric Decker type. But, Cody, this DB core they have there, I mean, you think every year Georgia, oh, they lost a lot of guys to the draft. They're not going to be super good. I mean, they've got three all-SEC first teams in their DB core with uh, Kamari Lasseter, Javon Bullard, and Malachi Starks. A lot of guys that not other people know of, but were in the rotation last year with the Georgia Bulldogs. But I agree with you 100%. It's all going to come down to Carson Beck. And even if he's half of what Stetson Bennett was, which it's tough to say because Stetson Bennett, two-time national champion. They're like you said, they're going to be twelve and I'll be the number one team in the country. So it's tough to be man. Kirby Smart and them. It, it took them a while. It's crazy that a coach can come in there like that, man, and just turn a program around like Georgia. Because before Georgia, they were kind of up and down. Yeah, with Aaron Murray, um, they were decent, but to just see him every year just breed these guys and, and have a ton of talented, you know, guys in the NFL. It's kind of crazy to see because. Alabama was more when I was little. I don't remember Alabama turning around and being a dynasty um, because I was kind of getting into college football. But now being like grown up and being able to witness what Georgia's doing, it, it's 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 crazy. Yeah, you know, I mean, crazy you bring up Alabama. Obviously, Kirby Smart comes from the Nick Saban tree, right? So I think that has definitely set him up for some success at Georgia. Also, kind of as – prices of housing go up in Florida. A lot of those Florida kids have moved to Georgia. So now that Mm. creates that kind of that more fertile recruiting base and that backyard feel for those kids that are playing in the state of Georgia. Um, Travis Hunter being one. So uh, I think obviously he didn't end up going to Georgia, but that's just an example of a Florida kid moving to Georgia, cutting his teeth in the peach state. And now you kind of start to see Georgia starting to take leaps and bounds um, over Alabama in terms of recruiting. Obviously, Alabama hasn't fallen off. It's just that Georgia has kind of elevated. So, um, yeah, Kirby Smart's done a really good job, not only in the recruiting trail, but also development um, within the program. So it's good to see. 